Hey guys, what's up? Apple Fanatic here. And today, I'm going to be showing you a couple cool programs that will help you easily get your device out of recovery mode. Um, recovery mode happens when you're going into a DFU mode and you fail at that, or it, it happens for any number of reasons, but I'm going to show you, or a jailbreak goes wrong, you try to jailbreak your device and you get stuck with that. This program called Tiny Umbrella and a program I'll show you later called Recboot is going to help you. Um, one little thing with Tiny Umbrella, if you get stuck in a fixed, I mean a boot loop or a recovery loop, which is basically um, any combination of 10, 15, 10, 10 XX errors, so 10, 15, 10, 20, 10, 11, um, they will help you. You typically get those when an installation doesn't go 100% correct with uh, update, um, and you can click X fix recovery to get out of that. Um, it won't work if you're like in the middle of an installation on your operating system, um, on your iPad or iPod or iPhone and you lose power and your computer shuts off or you accidentally unplug your device, that's not going to help you. But if it goes 100% and then whatever reason you get a 10-15 error, you should be able to use fix recovery and you'll be good for that. But I'm not going to show you that today. I'm going to show you a couple of really cool programs to just get you out of recovery. First one, like I said, it's called Tiny Umbrella. And basically, let's just show you. Here's your device. You're going to plug it in. And I'll show you how to put it into recovery mode also. And this is a typical message you get from iTunes. And we can just exit out of iTunes. And then I'll exit out of Tiny Umbrella to show you how to open it. This will work on a Windows computer, Mac, and Linux. So for whatever reason you have a Linux computer, Windows, or Mac, you can use this. So open it up, Tiny Umbrella. As for iOS 4.3, it's not supported right this second, but by today or tomorrow, it should be added support. And if you already own Tiny Umbrella, you will be able to just upgrade it through the program itself. So over here, you're going to have a list of your devices. Down here, it's going to have all your SH, SH is saved, which um, will actually be able to save with um, Tiny Umbrella 2, not uh, Rec Boot, though. So you're going to go over here, and you're going to see recovery devices. You're going to click on it. You should see question mark zero and you're just going to want to hit exit recovery and your device will then reboot to the Apple alright hey guys so the next program I have is Recboot and it basically does the same thing so here's your device it's on um, so I'm just going to put it into recovery mode actually this would be a good time to show you how to put it into recovery mode so if for whatever reason you ever need to put it into recovery mode sometimes a firmware won't work in a DFU or not no mode at all. So to install the firmware using recovery mode, it's very simple. Just gonna hold down power button, and then you're gonna want to slide the power off. It's off. off now. Now you're gonna want to hold down the power button. I mean the home button, and you're just gonna. Sorry for the shaking, guys. You're gonna push in with the plug. And it's now in recovery mode. So let's exit out of iTunes. And to get out of recovery mode with Recboot, let's exit out of that. You are going to download the program, link in the description. You will, it will come with, oops, wrong button. Recboot, double click, and you're going to see Reboot, Recboot exit only and Recboot. We're going to hit a Recboot. So you're going to click that, and now we're going to hit exit recovery, and you are going to see Awake My Precious, and your device will be rebooted. Um, I'll come back and show you how to enter the recovery with the programs themselves. Alright, so the next part is going to be for people that don't know how to put their into recovery mode, or they're just too lazy to do that. So the first one we'll use is Recboot. So we'll just double click that, open it up, and this is... Here's my device, you're just going to hit enter recovery mode, and your device is now in recovery mode. Alright, uh, and the final thing I want to show you is we'll go jump back to Tiny Umbrella, and you are now going to be shown how to kick it out, I mean put it into recovery mode with Tiny Umbrella. Tiny Umbrella, it is a bit more sensitive to what you do. In order to kick it out of recovery mode, you need to have it unlocked, have iTunes shut down, 
and you need to ha have it um, running 4.2.1 or later. So um, you're going to want to select your device and just click enter recovery mode. And as you saw, it kicked it out. I mean, kicked it into recovery mode. But if you don't have all of those um, done to, to that, say, it's not going to work. Now, let me jump over. All right, so the next thing I want to show you is a device. It's my iPad 2 running. Let me unlock it. Running. On, let me see that running on 4.3. Um, so here you go. Here's my device. We're gonna hit enter recovery mode, and as you saw, nothing worked. Click it as many times as you want. It's not gonna enter because it's not supported by Tiny Bro. But if you go over to Rec Boot, and you hit Rec Boot, and then you hit enter recovery mode, hold it, enter recovery mode. Your device is now entering recovery mode and you are good to go with that so that's pretty much it if you have any questions let me know um, also also any red device running on 4.3 you will be able to exit recovery mode um, I don't think it works for tiny umbrella let's just try it out real quick here's the device right zero exit recovery mode and as for entering, exiting recovery mode, it looks like Tiny Umbrella will be good to go. But entering recovery mode and all that, it's not going to work. So guys, I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And um, stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a slight $10 giveaway for iTunes. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If I have a fanatic, it's me saying peace, and I hope this helped.